Hello there and welcome to this episode of Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach Matt Roger, presented by your local Southern Quality Four Dealers, Champagne Beverage, and also Buddy's Bar and Grill right here in Hammond. I'm Alan Waddell and joined as always by the head baseball coach of our Southeastern Lions, Coach Matt Roger. Coach, thanks for being here. Uh, this was a weekend where you went on the road and took on Sam Houston State. Every game uh, was very competitive, but just didn't turn out the way we wanted them to as Sam Houston sweeps the series. Yeah, you know, we just couldn't get the right bounce, the right hop, but you know, uh, at the end of the day, I told the guys, you make your own breaks. Uh, and we, we didn't do enough on our end up, we didn't play fast enough to make our own breaks and make things happen, and, and Sam Houston did. They, they capitalized on the mistake we made. Well, Coach, uh, this season, you've had some adversity, uh, not a ton of it, as you've had a really good year. Uh, this is maybe the biggest adversity you've had of the season as you lose three in a row to Sam Houston State. What was the message to your team after the weekend as you get ready for Nichols this weekend? You know, the biggest thing is, as also, we know we're right here in the Southland race, and, and we went from being on top of the conference last week to the six this week and, and change of one weekend. It can change again the same way this weekend. Uh, you can't sulk or feel sorry for yourself. Uh, we talk about it all the time. It's not the punch that you throw, it's the punch that you can take and get back up. And honestly, we've taken a big punch. We've lost four in a row, and uh, also you get swept in conference. Uh, it, it, it happened. It happened to Sam Houston, you know, against Central Arkansas. So uh, it's up to the guys now to get back to work. We've got to find a way to work harder, play harder, uh, and get back to the process. All right, let's take a look at the highlights. We're going to go out and check out the game one highlights against Sam Houston State. Game one of the series, the Lions are on the road against Sam Houston State in Huntsville, Texas. And, uh, Coach, this was a Good old-fashioned pitcher's duel. Uh, that would be a very low-scoring game. Yeah, two preseason all-conference guys on the mound uh, matching up. Epler for them, and Andrew's tour for us, and uh, had some opportunities offensively, get some things done. That you know, the, their guy did a good job of pitching out of, and Andre was obviously special all night. Uh, that he got to get caught there in the last inning on, on a bad bounce. Andre Chitora was obviously special on this one. Uh, we've been saying it the last couple of weeks, if anybody in the country is throwing better than this guy, I want to see it. He's been sinking it. Uh, having great command, and he showed it uh, the entire package against Sam Houston State, a very good offensive club. Yeah, very offensive club. Uh, Sam Houston swung well all year long against uh, some of the top you know, quality arms in the country, and uh, Andre did a fantastic job just keeping him off balance. He was sinking the fastball, he kept him out front of the changeup. Uh, I tell you, Sam Houston does a good job of getting their best swing off and up counts, and he was able to mix in some different pitches in different locations uh, and get a lot of swing and miss all night. Trying to get a little something going here. This is one of our opportunities we had. We got the single by Hoff in the right field. Renard does a good job of going back up the middle there. And we got first and second, nobody out. We give Midget the, uh, the kind of the drag, half sack bunt there. Does a good job of laying it right down the line, getting down the line, beats it out. Uh, and we got a little something going here in the second inning. We got the bases loaded, nobody out. Uh, with the opportunity to score some runs. Brings up Kyle, set it tall at the plate, did a good job here with two strikes, started to go in on him. Does a good job of backspin the baseball right field, and uh, Hoffman does a good job of tagging up. This is one of our miscues. Uh, Kenneth should have been tagging up with him there at third base. He tries to get in there late. Uh, thought he beat the tag there. They call him out and, and kind of won an opportunity there. We only get one run with the bases lowered there, uh, kind of keep him in the ball game. And this was certainly a situation that later on in the game you, you'd look back at and say, hey, Mike, had a couple of, Mike could have got a couple more there and it would have been big. Yeah, you know, it felt like that was kind of the story all night, Friday night offensively. But you know, Andre did a fantastic job again of just uh, going right back at their guys. You see their four hole there. O'Hearn, not really, uh, not a whole lot for him there. Didn't figure out uh, Andre all, all night. For the majority of the night, uh, it looked like one run would be enough uh, as he just continued to baffle the Bearcat hitters. He really did. You see all the misconduct, uh, miscontact he's getting there. There, getting uh, the sinker and, and obviously I uh, only had one hit going into the seventh inning it was kind of a bounce through a six hole and uh, it just kind of a true heavyweight bout on, on Friday night you know preseason Sam Houston number one we're preseason number two and uh, it was kind of all the makeup of what you thought was gonna be for a Friday night game in South of the Conference. Another strikeout there by Chutora as a, was dominant in this game uh, throughout as Sam Houston couldn't get anything going against them. Yeah, we did a really good job, obviously defensively all night. Made some nice plays. Good job of being aggressive by Jacob Williams from getting the hop. And uh, you see the one hit they'll get there until the to the eighth and ninth inning. Uh, was just kind of the bleeder through the six hole. And uh, again, just a good job of going right back to it. Gets another ground ball here and gets the easy out there at second base uh, to get us back in there offensively. Nice drag bunt laid down there by Jacob Seward for a hit and did a good job of putting pressure. He had a nice weekend for us. Had six five or six hits on the weekend and had some big knocks on Saturday for us as well and did a good job just uh, obviously keeping the pressure on as much as we could. And again, here we go, we got our second two outs and just uh, couldn't get the big knock to knock the guy in. Had nine hits on the night, just couldn't get the big one all night. 
and kind of run a hit and run here. Seward does a good job. We thought we'd get the pick. He actually calls him out. They realize the ball is down there on the ground. Uh, Andre goes right back to work and gets the strike out there and uh, eliminates the, the inning. One good thing about Andre, too, is he's been able to pitch late in the game, been able to save the bullpen for the weekends. He really has. He's helped us out you know, for the rest of the weekend in uh, the last four or five weeks. Uh, as you see Fisher there going uh, back through the middle. Another opportunity offensively. Again, yes, another big opportunity. This is now late in the game. we got first and second, nobody out. Uh, again, just trying to get the right bounce. Hoffman lays down the bunt and just kind of sticks there in front of the plate, and they get the 2-5-3 the <laughs> double play that you don't see very often. Uh, but Andre does a good job going right back out, uh, filling the zone up. That's it. You see it all night long. We had a lot of soft contact throughout the rest of the night. We kind of a theme is, you know, you had base runners, it seemed like the whole night, you know, just continue to put pressure on them, just couldn't generate uh, enough, that there's, maybe there's second or third pipe plays you need uh, to put a rally together. Yeah, just, you know, kind of didn't run the bases as well as we needed to, and, and like I said, again, here's another situation, you got a guy in scoring position to, to chance to get the big knock, and uh, just couldn't do it all night, had nine hits and only the one run. But obviously, yeah, you can see there, Andro uh, getting another easy out there, getting out of the seventh. See only the one hit. <clears throat> Gets another easy routine pop out here again. I tell you, really uh, didn't really get hit hard, but maybe once or twice all night. But I tell you, the one or two times they did hit him hard, uh, obviously made it mean something. This is the unfortunate bounce we do get. We got him played perfect there in the six hole. Bounces just over Hoffman's head. Menard does a good job trying to keep it in the infield. Kicks off his glove. They get the double. Move him over to third base, and then there's the big knock to tie it up make it 1-1. One, one. Uh, we kind of hung a broken ball. That was the only bad pitch he made all night. Hung a breaking ball there 0-2 and the kid did a good job of bowing and uh, getting the big knock they needed. This all happened here in the, the bottom of the ninth inning as uh, they get the, kind of the, the, the lucky double down the line, get a good bounce and then uh, a pass ball, wild pitch situation there and they get a runner to second base. Yeah, and they get a 1-2 count here and I uh, thought we had a chance at them at the plate. We kind of double clutched there in the outfield. Bang may play at the plate and uh, obviously gets in there safe and relive it. And, uh, you know, obviously it's not for a lot of fun, but got to get back on the horse. Coach, I know uh, you coach baseball long enough, you play long enough, you're going to be a part of some heartbreakers. And this was certainly a heartbreaking game, a game that seemed like you're in total control, even though it was only a one to nothing lead, had some opportunities to add to that lead, couldn't do so. And they make a couple of plays there in the bottom of the ninth to steal one. Yeah, you know, uh, again, it goes back to uh, you make your own breaks, and we didn't on Friday night. Uh, we, we allowed Andro to go out there. He was absolutely special all night. Probably the best game he's pitched all year. Uh, Sam Houston, you, you got to give him credit. They're, they're fantastic hitting offense, and, and what Andro did on Friday night was something special. Uh, and obviously, you know, when, when you play and, and don't make your breaks, they get the breaks. And so they did that ninth inning, they get that leadoff double, and, uh, and then obviously they got the big hits there at the end. You know, if that ball doesn't bounce over the third baseman's head, stays down, uh, we're probably reading about the next day, uh, maybe the most dominant performance in the Southland Conference this, this year uh, was Andre Trator's performance against Sam Houston State, but unfortunately it didn't go that way as Southeastern drops game one. Let's take a break. We come back and take a look at the highlights from game two and game three right here on Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach Matt Reiser, presented by our local Southern Quality Four dealers, Champagne Beverage, and also Buddy's Bar and Grill right here in Hammond. Stay with us.